Good evening. Good evening, everybody. And welcome once again to Auntie Niger. Welcome to Auntie Niger Christmas special. Christmas edition. Lovely. Yes. My sister. Yes. Give us the DJ looking beautiful. It's looking absolutely gorgeous. Let's just start this out of the way. Can you see this? So lovely. Ah. I love it. Excellent. So beautiful. Yes. Yes. A lightning director has really outdone himself today. Yeah. Please give a hand for a lightning director. Well done. And all of his technicians. Yes. All of you. Well done. You're so beautiful. The technical crew are, are so committed and excellent. They're so and good. we're so grateful. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to everyone. Ah, yes. so lovely. And Sinaja, may I commend your beautiful earrings that ah, you're wearing? And Sinaja, yours as well. Oh. Ah, thank you. Yours as well. They're looking thank very you. lovely. See, this is an example of what we at Auntie Niger always preach yes. to all you women and wives that yes. are You have to make sure you look your best for your husband oh. right throughout the year. Always look beautiful for him. And we're even adding a special Christmas touch yes. to our... Uh, to, uh, usual uh, festivities. Exactly, to our usual look. Yes. Can you see? So lovely. Beautiful. Very simple. Elegant. But effective. Effective. So nice. You can't miss it. You know. You're yeah, dressing up for me for six months. That's yes. I. And you're looking gorgeous. But you say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. So what are we dealing with today, Moya? Yes. Wait, wait. Let's just sit a bit back so everyone can admire. Set, but let's like command. Yes. Seen as a Christmas light. As set up by a lightning crew. So lovely. Okay. So what are we treating today, Moya? We have a letter, my sister. That's right. That's right. From Ingozi. That's right. In Ingozi. Milton King. Yes. Okay, should we read the letter? My sister, please read the letter. Let's read it. Let all the viewers decide what they think about this game. <coughs> Dear Auntie Niger, mm -hmm. it's been a while since we've done our agony answer. Yeah, it's been a long time, but this was very important. We've been called all over the world. Ah. We're, we're so busy that we've not been able to respond to all your inquiries. We've mm. been treating, speaking, engagement. Mm -hmm. Watch this place for a book. Yes. And like, they're coming soon. This one was very important, so we try and put the other one alone. Yes. Yeah. To address this important issue. Because, what, because we thought that this one this one had to be addressed. A we lot of people one. face this issue at Christmas they time. Do. They do. Yes. Dear Auntie Niger, mm -hmm. my name is Ingozi. I have been married for four years. I have three beautiful boys. Mm -hmm. What happened to the fourth one? We don't know. I don't know what she's been doing for those four years. Yes. To his son. To his four years. She tried. she tried. She tried. Mm. Where would we be if we were producing one child? Anyway, hmm. that is not the point of the letter. Hmm. Unfortunately, no. I have gone to my husband's parents for every year. Mm -hmm. And I've only ever seen my family as New Year. And what is the problem with that? I ask myself. I've gone every year mm -hmm. because my mother-in-law needs me. Yes! My husband is the first of se seven sons. My two seven sons! Papa woman! I am the only wife, as his brothers are not yet married, as they hold very traditional views about hmm. women, which no longer seem applicable in these modern times. Hey! Hmm. However, this has meant that I have not really, I haven't really had time to spend with my own boy hmm. because I'm always so, because I've always been so busy. Hmm. My mother really wants me to come to her house this Christmas. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to offend my husband's mother. Mm. What should I do? Lots of love in God's name. I'm so glad this in God's name, girl. Do I have to know this letter? Why? How can we tell her what she should do? Obviously, we are too traditional for her. Because she said to herself. Her brother and us are so unmarried because they have traditional views by women in these modern times. But that's so ingozi that you feel that way. That you feel God's gonna serve your husband and his brother that his man is a punishment. And I try. I'm completely in agreement with him. When you were talking, I just had to be sitting and thinking and mm. thinking how all we have done now. How all I have done. After we have been, we have been telling everyone this for how many years We do get letters like this. We do get letters like this. We get from girls like this. Have you not watched our backlog? 
Do you not know? Have you not seen? Have you not got an idea of the way you should do this? Ah, imagine came at you. Now she's shack on because she's the only wife. Yes. They will not understand is a position of privilege. You see, the only wife among seven women to be cleaning, to be served, to be cooking, to be looked after. Seven wonderful men. Does it mean that she can be spent her whole Christmas devoting her time and attention to looking after them, getting their food? I was worried about her when she said, "My children, I don't spend time with children." Why don't you send them to your mother? Even your mother, the one who hasn't got anything to do on Christmas Day, that's she right. wants to go and wait on you and her boat. That's it. Send them to your mother. That's right. Why are you looking after them? That's even what we do in our own house. Ah, uh, in my own house. My son, tell her. Hmm. You know how many sons I have? Hmm. You're even complaining. Seven brothers. That is powerful indeed, my sister. She's shy. But I have ten sons. She's shy, Dada. My sister, she's shy, Dada. Did you hear what she said? She's shy, Dada. Let me say that for you again. I don't need you to listen. I said I have ten beautiful sons. Lovely sons! All grown up. None of them cook! Strong! None, None of them clean! None of them make with magic! Imagine! Make me quick! Imagine! Tie your gun in the kitchen! We are the image of sorts of it! Feeling perfect of a good one! Don't me out of them! Lift a finger around the house. Hmm. And that's the way it should be. None of them do anything. When they were grown up, I sent them to my mother's house. Of course! Every Christmas? Yes! And I quickly ran to my husband's house. Yes! What should I be doing? How can uh -huh. I help you? My own mother, eh? Mm -hmm. Tell tell everyone the last time you saw your mother. The last time I spent Christmas with my mother's family. Two years before I got married 15 years ago. Two years! 17 years before I spent Christmas with my mother's home. That's right. I have devoted myself slavishly to my husband. And he loves me for it! That's right! This my mother in law loves me! Bye for now.